Hello my dear students, uh, let us take one more example on uh, bending stresses. Uh, a beam with a rectangular section of 60 mm width and 120 mm depth is subjected to hogging bending moment of 12 kN meter. Determine the maximum bending stress induced in the section and draw the bending stress distribution along the depth of the section. Okay. Uh, why I have taken this uh, example because in the last uh, uh, example for the the section I have shown uh, the uh, stress bending stress distribution diagram but uh, that was uh, I think for a positive bending moment means simply supported beam so where uh, uh, the compress uh, stress was developed on top and tensile stress was on bottom okay now here in this problem it is given hogging bending moment means it is negative bending moment so compression stress will be induced at the bottom fiber and uh, tensile stress will be induced on the top layer okay so that's why uh, this is very simple problem I have taken this uh, mainly to show the um, bending stress distribution okay uh, so uh, all of you know now how to calculate uh, bending stress uh, we have that formula m divided by i is equal to sigma divided by y or sigma you can write sigma b also no problem so if we want this sigma b so that is nothing but m into y divided by by i okay for this purpose we required m what is m here uh, this is uh given width is 60 mm b is 60 mm and depth is 120 mm this is 120 uh, so first uh, let us calculate i uh, that is for rectangular section bd cube divided by 12 b is twin, uh, 60 and d is 120 so 120 cube divided by 12 you get 8.64 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to the power 4 now what is y max here uh, the neutral axis exactly at the center and and so y max is d divided by 2 so d is 120 so divided by 2 is equal to 60 mm now uh, we you can use the formula m divided by i is equal to sigma divided by y m is 12 it is given 12 into 10 raised to 6 it is kilo newton meter when you convert into millimeter it becomes here also k 10 raised to 3 and meter to millimeter 10 raised to 3 so totally it becomes 10 raised to 6 so 12 into 10 raised to 6 divided by i i is 8.64 into 10 raised to 6 is equal to sigma b divided by that we have to calculate divided by y y is equal to 60 so you get 83.3 this is uh, the stress developed and you can show in the diagram how you can show this diagram uh, extend this neutral axis this is the position of the neutral axis here uh, compression stress will be developed on the top uh, bottom layer so this is uh, compression that is minus negative so it is towards the left side okay and here on top tensile stresses will be induced and that is plus and this is moving towards the right side so you have to show the uh, diagram with the arrow marks like this this is plus okay I have not uh, written <coughs> this is uh, plus tensile and this is minus compression that's why it is moving towards this side left and uh, this is uh, towards the uh, right side okay so this is about um, this problem how to draw stress distribution uh, diagram for I mean bending stress distribution diagram let us take one more example um, the cross section of a beam is as shown in figure if the permissible stress is 150 Newton per millimeter find its moment of resistance also compare it with compare it with equivalent section of the same area for a square section which the beam can resist okay here this problem is given of I section okay now <coughs> what you have to do you have to compare it with the square section so how we will do first let us take this I section uh, it is given okay to 200 into 10 mm one uh, this section and other section also 200 into 10 and uh, this is uh, uh, total it is 400 so this distance is 400 minus 10 minus 10 so it becomes 380 into 8 okay this is the area so we will calculate first area of the section so here uh, two sections are this is symmetrical I section so symmetrical rectangular sections two rectangular section so 2 into 200 into 10 
plus this uh, section I have to consider that is uh, the depth is here uh, uh, 380 because 400 minus 20 380 and this is the width okay 380 into 8 uh, so um, you will get area is equal to 7040 mm square now what you have to do you have to calculate the moment of inertia of the i section how you can calculate uh, that is uh, capital bd cube divided by 12 minus small bd cube divided by 12 okay here what is uh, capital uh, b that is uh, 200 and capital D is 400 divided by 12 minus what is small uh, b uh, small b is total this is 200 200 minus 8 that is small b that is 192 into d cube d is total it is 400 minus 20 that is 380 that is small d small d is 380 cube divided by 12 is equal to when you simplify this you get 188.71 into 10 raised to 6 mm4 so now you know I you can calculate uh, 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 what is uh, section modulus so for that you required y maximum y maximum is capital D divided by 2 capital D is 400 so 400 divided by 2 that is equal to 200 mm now you can calculate section modulus that is equal to I divided by y maximum i is 188.71 into 10 to 6 divided by 200 y max so you get 943.57 into 10 to 3 mm cube now uh, you can calculate what is moment of resistance for i section moment of resistance that is equal to uh, actual that formula is m divided by i is equal to sigma divided by y when you write in terms of moment of resistance you get sigma b into z1 okay this y i have taken one means this i section i have considered as section one okay so now uh, sigma b that is uh, given here permissible stress is 150 so 150 into z z is 943.57 into 10 to 3 you get 141.53 into 10 to 6 okay this is newton millimeter so when you uh, convert into kilonewton meter you get 141.53 kilonewton meter this is about i section so first part is done find its moment of resistance of i section next you have to compare it with the equation equivalent section of the same area for the square section so what you have to do here for the square section let it be a2 that is equal to a square this is a square section so a into a that is equal to a square now the both the areas are equal so a2 is equal to a1 so here uh, area of the cross uh, square cross section is let it be a2 that is equal to a square a into a uh, so now what it is given in the problem the areas are equal means let uh, the area of i section is equal to a1 okay i have shown that first only here this is a1 that is area of the i section okay now area uh, a2 is equal to a1 a2 that is area of the square section a square that is equal to a1 a1 is area of the i section 7040 mm square uh, so uh, substitute you get area is equal to i mean a small a is equal to 83.9 this is one side of the square section okay uh, now you can calculate what is i what is y maximum and what is z how you can calculate i for a square section actually it is bd cube by 12 but all the sides are equal so you can write uh, uh, b or bb cube or whatever d or d cube so it becomes d raised to 4 or here i have written in terms of side a so let it be a raised to 4 divided by 12 okay you understood now because here b is a and d cube is a cube so it is a raised to 4 divided by 12 you get 4.13 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 now y maximum that is here actually rectangular section y is equal to d by 2 
here y is equal to a divided by 2. So a is equal to 83.9 divided by 2, you get 41.95 mm. Now you calculate z2, z2 is i2 divided by y2 maximum, i2 is 4.13 into 10 to 6 divided by y maximum is 41.95, so you get 98.45 into 10 to 3 mm cube. This is section modulus. Now you can calculate what is moment of resistance for square section that is equal to m2 is equal to sigma into z2. Sigma it is permissible stress given 150 into z2 is 98.45 into 10 to 3. Substitute you get of uh, simplify you get 40 in 0.77 into 10 to 6 newton millimeter or 14.77 kilo newton meter. Now you have to compare the I section with the square section of moment of resistance. So, moment of resistance of I section divided by moment of resistance of square section that is equal to moment of resistance of I section is 141.53 kilonewton meter divided by this is 14.77 kilonewton meter you get 9.62. So, moment of resistance of I section is equal to 9.62 times of moment of resistance of the square section. So like this you can calculate or you can find or you can compare the moment of resistance of the um, I section and square section. I hope all of you understood. If you have any difficulties we can discuss in the class. Thank you.